Hi, I'm Amanda from Imagination Station, and today we're gonna be making electronic greeting cards. I'm gonna show you several ways that you can create a simple circuit so that you can light up your design. You can showcase your circuit or you can hide it. All of these cards had three components to their circuits. They had an LED, a coin cell battery, and copper tape. Copper tape is gonna act as your wires. Our watch battery will provide the power, but we wanna make sure to notice that uh, our battery has a positive and a negative side. And our card's gonna light up using an LED or a light emitting diode. If we look at our LED, we notice that it has two legs and it's got a positive side and a negative side, but it can be a little hard to tell which side is which. But if we look closely at it, we'll notice that one leg is a little bit longer than the other. So I like to take my Sharpie and mark the positive leg or the longer leg so that I know which one is positive. And that way during my circuit, I can always easily tell which one is which. Before we start working on our artwork for our card, let's take a look at that simple circuit. In our kit, we have a template that has our simple circuit on it. So we're gonna start by adding the copper tape onto our template. I like to start with the negative side. I like to try to keep it as smooth and tidy as I can. We just wanna remember when we're putting our tape down to leave a gap for our LED and our battery. So now that I have my negative side down, we're gonna create a loop using our copper tape and we are gonna put our battery negative side right on top of that copper tape. Now we're gonna tape our copper tape right over top of that battery, but being careful not to touch that negative side. Now that our battery is taped down along with our copper tape, we're gonna continue that square around all the way to where our LED will go. But remember, make sure you leave a gap there. Now that our copper tape is down, we're gonna take our LED and we're gonna have it do the splits so that it can lay down kind of flat on the paper. And this is where that sharpied positive leg comes in handy. So we'll put it flat on our circuit and then we're gonna use more copper tape to tape that LED down. Make sure the negative side goes to the negative side and the positive side goes to the positive side. And now we've just created a simple series circuit that lights up our LED. So how do we turn this thing off? Well, there's a couple of different ways we can do that. The first one is to disconnect the battery. Well, since we added that loop of tape on it, it isn't always the easiest to peel off, but once we do, we've then opened up the circuit and now our light will turn off. Another way to turn our light on and off is by using a switch. So this one, we just press the, the paper together, turns on, when we release it, it turns off. Let's take a closer look at how to do a switch. So a switch can open and close that circuit. And by opening and closing the circuit, we're turning on and off the flow of electricity. So with this card, we're creating a break in our circuit and that can be by the battery like this card or it can be in the middle of your copper tape somewhere else. It just depends on how you design it. So when we close the card, the paper is still separated a little bit so our circuit is still open. It's not turning on. But when we press the card, that's when the electricity is connected and our circuit is closed so our light will turn on. So you may run into some challenges when building your card. Maybe it stopped working or it works sometimes or it never really worked at all, right? So let's take a look at some of those common issues and see how we can fix them. So if our LED isn't lighting up, let's double check that our LED is going in the right direction. We wanna make sure that positive leg is connected all the way over to our positive side of the battery and our negative side is connected to the negative side of the battery. Why? Because it's a light emitting diode and that diode only lets the electricity go one way through the light. So we need to make sure that our battery isn't short circuiting. Our battery on the negative side has a ring of the positive side around it. So we wanna make sure that when we're putting our tape over top, that the positive side and the negative side aren't accidentally connected with our copper tape. When you build your switch, make sure that the copper tape is aligned with that gap that you've left so that it makes a good connection. If it doesn't get aligned, you might need to add some extra copper tape so it does make that alignment. Um, or if you are, when you're folding your circuit, you wanna make sure that none of the other copper tapes is, are touching, that might create a short circuit in our card. So if you wanna get advanced with your card and you wanna add multiple LEDs, that's something you totally can do. You just have to use a parallel circuit. A parallel circuit will give uh, the same amount of voltage to each LED in your circuit. So that's why it's a little bit better for that. Uh, 
Make sure you pause the template if you need it. That way you can make your uh, circuit. And if you have any questions or anything, make sure you add some comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed making electronic greeting cards with us. Make sure that if you have any questions or anything, comment below. If you haven't seen our other videos, make sure you subscribe so you get updates and check out our other activities that we do for our just tinkering at imaginationstationtoledo.org and enjoy your tinkering.